Hello, welcome to my another session. In this session, I have a talk about the female external genitalia and which is known as the vulva. The female external genitalia, it has different parts like mons, pubis, then labia majora, then labia minora, clitoris. So these are the different parts of the vulva. So now come to the mons pubis. Mons pubis, this is actually the triangular shaped structure and provided with adipose tissue. This is the pad like structure. At the time of puberty, the outer surface is covered by the hair or the pubic hairs. So suppose that this is the this portion, this is the pubis. So let me draw the total external genitalia of the female. Suppose that this is the this portion, this is the elevated pad like structure. So in front you may it may look like this pad like triangular structure. This is known as the mons pubis. This is the mons pubis. Mons pubis. Such mons pubis, it actually distinguished at the uh, time of puberty with having a two, with having a two lip like structure and such lip like structure which hangs towards down from the top and such lip like structure may be provided with hair at the time of puberty. So the outer surface is rough and these two leaf like structure is known as greater leaf or the labia majora. So from mons pubis there is the extension of muscular leaf or the fleshy leaf which is known as the labia majora. So suppose that this is the labia majora which extends from the mons pubis. This is known as the labia majora. This labia majora also known as the greater lips. This is known as greater leaf. Such greater leaf or the labia majora, which enclosed the different uh, parts of the external genitalia, like labia minora, clitoris, and the opening of the uh, vagina and the urethra. And such greater leaf, the outer surface is rough, which is provided with uh, hair or you may say these are the pubic hairs which persist throughout life and uh, this leaf is known as the greater leaf or the labia majora. So in order to the labia majora, there is the another, another leaf like structure present and such leaf is, is compared to the labia majora which is uh, comparatively thin that's why it is known as the lesser lip. So lesser lip it is smooth uh, both side of this leaf is smooth and provide with the mucous glands. So in labia majora only the inner side is provided with the glands. 
but in this leaf suppose that you open such leaf like this this is the pigmented highly pigmented leaf this is known as the lesser leaf which is known as lesser leaf this is known as the lesser leaf or this is lesser leaf or it is also known as labia minora this is the labia minora so labia majora it is highly distinguished at the time of or prior to the puberty and such labia majora atrophy after menopause so the at the reproductive stage of the woman the labia majora which is greatly distinguished and this is the lesser leaf the both side of lesser leaf provided with the mucous gland and is highly pigmented layer and such lesser leaf or the muscular leaf which enclosed the space such space is known as the vestibule so this portion is known as vestibule this is known as vestibule the lesser leaf the both the lesser leaf at the right and left side at the lower region they are not fused to each other but at the upper region they fuse to each other so these leaf the both leaves which runs upward and they fuse to each other they meet to each other and which forms a elevated structure which forms a elevated structure or the finger like very small finger like elevated structure which is known as clitoris this is known as the clitoris such clitoris which is very much sensitive to touch and which help for the sexual erosal and such clitoris which is protected by such clitoris which is protected by the mons pubis so partially it is protected by the mons pubis suppose that this portion which is protected by mons pubis or the glans so or the pupus so this portion is protected by mons pubis or the pupus so there is the clitoris at the time of sexual erosal it may erect so it is the erectile structure that's why it is homologous to human penis it is homologous to human penis or the male penis the labia majora and this fleshy leaf which also homologous to the male scrotal sac or the scrotum so it is homologous to the scrotum the space which is covered by the lesser leaf or the labia majora such space is known as the vestibule this space which contain the large opening at the center and which is known as the vagina so this is known as the opening of vagina or the vaginal orifice so this is the vaginal orifice such vaginal orifice it may partially covered by hymen in case of virgin so this is the i have already told about the hymen so this is the hymen so in case of virgin those are not involved in physical exercise like the cycling like the swimming like the lifting of the heavy weights so in those cases the hymen persists but those are 
uh, indulge in the physical exercise, such uh, high men may partially removed or ruptured or the torn out. After the first delivery, the high man will totally completely removed. But at the time of first intercourse, such high men may torn and which tends to bleed. So this is the high man which partially cover the opening of the vagina. So front uh, or below the uh, clitoris, just below the clitoris or at the uh, front side of the vaginal orifice, there is the small opening and through which urine is released to outside and this opening is known as, so this opening is known as the urethral orifice. This is known as urethral orifice through which urine is released to outside. So the vaginal orifice, so vagina present or which moves just right angle to the uterus and towards the down vision and the vaginal wall which present in between the urinary bladder and the rectum. So the opening of anus which present behind the vaginal orifice and the opening of urinary bladder that is the urethral orifice which present in front of the vaginal opening. So this is the anus, this is the opening of rectum. And this portion which is known as the vestibule, this is the vestibule, there are again different glands present at the vestibular region which is known as the vestibular gland.